My name is Tim Folden. I'm the CamWorks Manager here at Hawkridge Systems. And what I want to show you today is actually a Swiss lathe machine running inside the SolidWorks and CamWorks environment. As you can see, this part was totally designed inside SolidWorks. So these are all the features. CamWorks also has its own feature tree. This is where you put in the pockets, the holes, the bosses, uh, ODs, IDs, different things like that, the different features on the actual model. And this is the operation tree. The operation tree is where you would set up you know, your feed rates, your spindle speed, your depth of cut, and so on. Inside here you can see I have a face operation, a turn operation, center drill, drill, contour mill, I have a thread, uh, I have operation, subspindles, and so on. So this is actually dialing in the part on the machining side of things. So not only did I design it inside of SolidWorks, I'm also programming it inside the SolidWorks environment using CamWorks. Now this machine we actually chose to use is a Ganesh 32CS machine. This machine has seven axes on it. So as I run the simulation here and showing you how this thing actually runs, you can actually see the tools are being moved around on the actual model. Now in a real environment, the bar would be moving in and out. So we do have different options for CamWorks. We have a machine simulation package where you can actually design your machine with your tools, your chucks, everything's all set up. And it shows you exactly how it's going to run before you even get to the controller. There's a couple of options. You can run it as CL data if you want to do it just directly out of CamWorks. Or you can run the G code directly out of CamWorks and it'll show you exactly what's going to happen before you even get to the controller. So here in a second I'm going to show you a video on it actually running on a Ganesh 32 CS machine.
So now that you've seen the video, you have a couple of different options when you post the code out. You can either post out the turning, post out the milling, open up an editor, put everything together the way you want it, and then send it to the machine. Or you can actually get a custom post processor built to match your machine. So every time you program it in Camworks, it'll post out the code the way you want to see it at the controller. And by that, you just push one button here and it post processes. You don't have to put all the toolpath together manually to make that work. One advantage to this is you can actually go through to SolidWorks, make a design change, come back to Camworks, all the toolpath updates automatically, and then you can repost process as opposed to going back in the notepad and making more and more changes. So just options for you. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks again for watching.